I mean, these things are super hard to detect, and there's actually a really good example to illustrate this a couple of nights ago in Chicago. Now, before we really super dive in, let me just give you just a brief little explanation of how radar works, okay? Shoots out a beam as it gets farther away from the radar site, it gets higher and higher, so you're seeing higher up in the storm. You don't get to see really the important part of the storm down at the bottom of it where the tornadoes happen. So here are all your radar sites. Let me show you exactly where this uh, possible tornado was on the west side of Chicago. This was Monday night, okay? So based on this, I would be looking at all these radar sites. I'd be saying, okay, this K-Lot radar site right here, that's close enough there that I should have a pretty good look into that storm, nice and low into it. I'm probably going to be able to see it if there's a tornado, right? Well, actually, check out what the radar looked like. It was pretty tough to see, and they issued a really good warning, and I'm going to show you why in just a second, but let me get rid of this. You see this here? Yeah, you can see some rotation, but that's certainly not enough to warrant a tornado warning. But watch what happens when you switch over to the terminal Doppler. Actually, O'Hare Airport has its own radar, and it was actually much closer to the storm. So we could see like one to 300 feet into the storm. So really just the very bottom of it. And look at this. I mean, you see this thing stick out like a sore thumb. And the problem is it only lasted for about four or five minutes or so. So it was extremely hard for the radar to detect. This was an excellent warning by NWS Chicago because, you know, they used the terminal Doppler over there at O'Hare. That was the only way you could see this on radar. Apart from that, pretty much completely invisible. Now, you know, with these spin-up tornadoes, you know, a lot of people kind of think, okay, what's the big deal? Look, it, it's a quick little spin-up. This isn't going to be some kind of long-track violent tornado, which, you know, landfalling tropical systems can sometimes create. But look at this video from a couple of weeks ago. This is in Beaver Creek, Ohio, close to Dayton. Look at that. That's almost exactly like... Uh, what we saw on the west side of Chicago Monday night. But gosh, I mean, you see how just violent that thing is. That was an EF-1 tornado, actually. And I remember looking at the radar for that, and it looked very similar. We had another one that was over in Hawthorne, Nevada. This was also from a couple of days ago. Watch these trees over here. Okay, watch this. Watch what happens. They're just going to get absolutely shredded. Another EF-1 tornado. Look at the branches flying around there. So when we talk about quick spin-up tornadoes, it is actually a pretty big deal. So you got to take these tornado warnings seriously when we get them. Of course, tornadoes, one of the many threats that we're going to be dealing with with tropical depression now 